This is Al Dated, and welcome back to episode 101 of the Bonfire Chronicles. We are, we left off in the bonfire at the beginning of the Doors of Pharos area. And there go the dogs. But of course, right when I start a video, 21 seconds in, they bark. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back there now. Um, let's see. So the thing about the Doors of Pharos area it is completely optional. You can easily bypass it just by... Um, well, I'll show you just in case you didn't see it in the last episode or whatever. I'll show you where you would go roughly. And of course, you're going to see it again pretty soon. So this is where we came in to this bonfire. That's where we were going to progress. But for now, let's head over here. Take out Elephant Boy. My hexes are just kind of OP for this, these guys. So I, at least at this moment. So, oh hey, he dropped something. Rusted Mastodon. Alright, let's take out the what are they called? Grim. There we go. And this guy seems to drop stuff a lot. Titanite chunk. Thank you very much. Farm him just for that. And we got one hiding here. He did not drop anything. Okay. So if you want to progress, you basically just keep going that way right through that door and actually when you go through you will run into if i'm not mistaken uh gavlon but we are not doing that we're going to move forward now there are a lot of doors opened by ferris lockstones here i mean a ridiculous number and almost all of them are bad let's just go ahead and get that out of the way almost all of those um doors are bad doors that we don't want. I'm getting rid of the Ring of Whispers. I really don't need it right now. Um, let's go back to that. Here we go. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Here we go. Making sure there's nothing. Oh, here comes Mr. Mastodon guy. Oh, and these guys. Forgot about that. Oh, his shield's gonna be a problem. Ooh, got him. Okay. It's really hard to fight when you're floating around in the water. Old radiant life gem. Okay. So, suggestion, if you can, is to go up here. Probably the safest spot. Okay, now, there are several possibilities here as far as Pharaoh's Lockstone gems. Um, and honestly, the vast majority of them are either a waste of a Lockstone, or they're just flat bad. I'm heading over here because I think there's more of those little uh, dogs running around. Alright, you know what? Guess not. There should be one right here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. This one, that one, and this one. Open this. But you don't need to open all of it. As you can see, I'm tall enough to fit right through that. So I'm going to use a ferrous lock stone on this. And that opens it. Oh god, Mastodon, but I didn't open the other two. So he can't come out and get me. And I can just kill him from a distance with relative ease. Okay, now we're going to go in here. Because there is what used to be one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. It is not nearly that powerful now. Santir Spear. Now Santir Spear actually has this huge stone on it. And that stone um, actually makes it behave more like a halberd. But when you break its durability down enough, it will break. The stone will break, and then you will have... Um, how do I put it? Then you will be able to have the straight-up spear. And it is just OP, to put it mildly. All right, I'm heading up this way because I think there was a treasure up here on the ledge, and I think that's how I get it. Yep, it is. 
Girm's axe and a torch. Now there is a thing over there. And I do not remember what happens when I light it. Honestly, I don't think it's really important. Let's we'll see. I'm looking to make sure. Those little splashes are kind of weird. Um, because sometimes you see them and you think it's a treasure. Okay, so we're going to go through here. we got to be careful because we're going to have like crap for mobility. Here comes one. There's one. Come on. Gotcha. Got to kind of like tank them a little bit, but there you go. Okay, so you've got some stuff down through here. Wait, did somebody drop something, or is that just their gas? That's their gas. Okay. Checking over here to make sure there's nothing hidden, like a regular treasure. There's not. All right. So what we're going to do is head up. Let's go grab this. Twisted Barricade and Soul of a Proud Knight. Take this guy down. He is... He's blocked, so let's, let's see if we can break his guard. Got it. Got him. Okay, we're gonna go through these pretty quick, these spells, but that's okay. There he is. Let's break his guard too. Done. Okay. These guys are not worth a ton of souls, but they're still worth, you know, like, exploring. Whoa, something just happened. Alright, let's see what these say, because this might be the one I need to do. Don't you dare. Try switch and then down. Okay, this is, I think this is the one right here. Alright. Yeah, there is one of these that will literally open up something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. And that opens up a tunnel right down there. This tunnel right here. So we're going to go up here. Hidden chest. And what do we have? Faint stone and twinkling titanite. Yes. Okay, we're going to head on up. Dash ahead. Uh, the house phone. Of course. Now, if you're curious, this is basically just brings me up above where we were a second ago. I roll down here. That's the thing I just used. So I'm going to keep going this way. Now watch out for this wall, because as you as you watch, spikes will start to come out. Got rid of him. Alright. This guy might be able to say death ahead and short be wary of chest. Right. Uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this is a mimic. So I guess we're about to find out. Let's do it the right way. Oh, it's probably a trap then. Ow. Okay, I rolled right into this last year, didn't I? And useful in there. Titanite chunk and petrified dragon bone. Okay. Trap ahead. Yeah, these I think both are bad. More spike wall. Now we head out here. And now we're back up top of the room. 
Yeah, we're up top of the room where we um, found Saint Air Spear down there on the left. So we're going to go around to the right. Now, watch because some of these are just statues. That one's just a statue. Right? See, nothing happened. He is not. He's actually coming for me. But he's not going to be very successful at it. He is also coming for me. And he's also not going to be very successful at it. Alright. Again, statue. Now, some of these things will just basically unlock the statues. Now, I, I want to say, is it this one? It's another statue. Let's just check him. Nothing. Some of these will just, like, make the statues not be statues anymore. And they add people to fight. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Not here, that's what I thought. Pointless ahead, in short, don't you dare. Regret ahead. Okay, one of these I thought opened up to a chest or something, but also an enemy. And I'm wanting to say it's this one. Let's see. Try Hidden Path. Hmm? Oh, I see. I see. Alright, you know what? I'll... Hmm. I'm wanting to say it's this one. Let's go ahead. Because I think this is the last one I was going to use anyway. I mean, if this is bad, it's bad. But... We'll see. No, th uh, this is what I wanted. There is a chest in here. Nothing special. But... A chest. Safe here. There we go, a trapped chest. Magic arrows, 15. Okay, I'll take them. There. And now what this does do is it gives me another dude to come farm if I want to farm. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head over this way. And honestly, I would ignore all the other doors of Pharaohs. Like, I honestly, there might be one more that you open, like, the bottom section of. Uh, matter of fact, it might be this one. That if you open the middle section up, you can go ahead and, like, kill it and stuff. Wait, is somebody coming? No, let's go ahead and take him out first. Come on, show boy. Come on, big guy. Done. Alright, now let's head up here, and I think the middle one... I want to say it's the middle one that opens the one on the bottom. So let's do it. Yep, it is, and it's another Mastodon guy, who we can easily kill from here. And he can't leave. See ya. It did not revive any of these stone guys. He dropped something. He dropped a rusted Mastodon helm, and what was already in here? The soul of a brave warrior. Okay. Now you can see over there, there's like a fog gate or whatever. We'll deal with that in a minute. We're heading around this way. And pop it in here. Why? Bonfire. And also, very important, that fog gate, boss room. Because there is a boss here. Again, just like this whole area. Optional. But he is here. Alright, I have not rested at it, so it should not have revived all the enemies. So one thing I could do is just drop down and head back to where I like the bonfire I started at, because this is back to those stairs. Alright, now, see right there? That actually is a treasure. It was just conveniently hidden, and that's a bit of a drop. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... I like to use this, and I just kind of drop, drop. Let's head over here and get it.
amber herbs, two of them, okay? Now I'm going to actually head back up, because there was a spot where it said try hidden path. I'm going to go ahead and make sure there's nothing like cool there I missed. So up we go. Speed climb. Alright, we're going to head around. Because again, most of these Pharaoh stores here are just they're trouble waiting to happen, honestly. They're, they're just trouble waiting to happen. It just makes things harder. So, not worried about that. Making sure there's not treasure hiding right here. Hey, treasure hiding right there. Ferris Lockstone, just in case you came here with absolutely none, and a large soul of a nameless soldier. Alright, so if you were to have played this game at launch, the only one I would have worried about would have been the one that got you Santir's Spear, because it gives you such an amazing weapon. Like, that weapon is just off the hook, insane, back then. Now, they've nerfed that weapon so much that I feel like it's just not necessary anymore. I mean, like, I, I feel like that weapon can be ignored. Alright, try Hidden Path. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna try to drop down to this. Is this where I... Hmm. Just brings me back out here. Okay, no big deal. So I used to farm the living fool out of this area. And, I mean, this is a great area to farm. So I'm going to just run through it one time to show you the farming route, and that'll actually round up this episode, I think. So let's go ahead and, and let's do it. So I start here, and I go over here. Now, one thing I can do is snipe him. Done. Well, what was that? Oh, hey. Hey, dude, I forgot about you. I totally forgot about him. He's a bit of a pain. Heal, heal, heal. Here again. Calm poison, run out. There it goes. Alright. Let's use a life gem to get the rest of that back. Alright, so I come through and I kill those guys, right? Then I run over here, grab anything they dropped, obviously. Head over here. You have the Mastodon in the door. We're going to go ahead and take him out because he's easy XP. Don't get too close because then he can actually still reach you. But for now, just kill him. Hey, he dropped something. Might as well grab it. Rusted Mastodon leggings. Alright, now we're going to head through here. Switch out to this take these guys out. Got him. Alright. Switch him back. Heading back up here. Fast climb. Alright. <clears throat> And then we'll take out these dudes. Come on, lock on. Now, as we know, it's going to take quite a few hits to stun him to it, so I can do that. But he's dead anyway. Now, let's get his friend over there. So they're just kind of hanging out here, you know. One more. Done. Okay. He didn't drop anything. Oh, he fell off the ledge. He didn't drop anything. We keep going around. Dude behind the thing, and I don't know what he's trying to do. 
That chest is in the way. That's the problem. Got him. In case you're wondering. I didn't get anything. Well. I think I activated the spikes with that button. Could be wrong. Okay, we're going to head up here. Same path as before. But remember, we're just doing this for farming purposes. Over here is the boss room. We're going to go this way. We want to do some quick farming. Hey, dude. Dudes. Both of you are coming. Got you, too. These guys are giving me about... Looks like 360 a piece. This guy's got a little bit of range with his weapon, so you want to be careful. But he's dead now, so you know you can be less careful. Nothing? I didn't actually look to see how many he gave me. Gonna head over here. Wait, where's the Mastodon and the walls over here, okay. Let's go ahead and take him out. See ya. You dropped something. Nice stone halberd. And there's a reason to do this. There's a reason to, like, make this effort. And that's because since we do have Gavilon coming up, and you can sell a bunch of spare stuff, I mean, if you want to use the Mastodon gear, go for it. But you're not going to use, like, multiples of the Mastodon gear. And so you can trade it to him to get more souls. Okay, through here, done. Then, you know what, I just missed it, didn't I? Then duck in here. Boss room. It's right through there. So there's kind of like the farming method. So I'm going to travel back to... Um... No, you know what, no I'm not. I'm actually going to stay here. And my reason for that is in our next episode, we're going to take on the boss. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're interested. And I will see you next time on the Bonfire Pod.